We'll kick it off with our breaking news story. The Correctional Services Department confirming that convicted murderer Janus Wallus has been stabbed in prison. The man who killed Chris Hani in 1993 is set to be released on parole this week. Officials say Wallus is in a stable condition at a health facility where he's receiving necessary care. It's alleged he was stabbed by an inmate from the same housing unit. Well, let's take you straight then to the Department of Correctional Services a spokesperson, Singaba Ngumalo. Good evening, Mr. Ngumalo. Thanks for your time. Explain to us what exactly does the department know right now about the circumstances under which Walus was stabbed? A very good evening and thank you for having us. Um, as a department, we've issued a statement confirming this unfortunate stabbing incident involving inmate uh, Janus Walus, uh, where he was alleged that he was stabbed by another inmate. Um, as a department, we needed to respond with necessary agents in terms of um, our healthcare officials rendering appropriate care to inmate Walus. Hence, we confirmed that he is stable, but we don't want to leave anything to chance. They are still with him, monitoring him, and running other tests. Um, and just such time that uh, they give us a report that we can go to bed knowing that no, all is well. Uh, we will then move into the second phase of now engaging with the perpetrator so that we can fully understand, you know, why did he embark on this particular act, uh, the motive behind it, even the type of a weapon used, and uh, to gain what necessarily is. As a department, we are quite disturbed by this incident. Who is the perpetrator? Um, uh, the perpetrator has been isolated. We will not be in a position to dis uh, disclose his name at the, at the moment. We have to engage with him and we also need to involve the South African police because a, 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 a police and um, um, a criminal case will have to be opened and registered. And um, it's, that is a normal procedure that we follow when we have incidents of this nature. So as a department, it's important though that we move with speed in terms of uh, sourcing all the necessary details that we can get so that we know fully what is it that we're dealing with. The department has said that the perpetrator and Walus stayed in the same housing unit. Are these individuals that would have known each other for several years now, would have had some kind of relationship? The housing unit where they are, it's a, it's a section that has single cells. But what will happen is that uh, inmates will leave their cells perhaps when they have to access other services, be it collecting their meals or, or perhaps utilizing the bathrooms. And fortunately, that's when the times you will then find such cases happening where then others will be attacked. And um, I, as a department, the investigation will have to assist us so that we know fully what really happened, how did the whole stabbing happen, and even the type of a, a weapon that was used there. Although a report does uh, explain what is it that was used, but um, we still need to, you know, delve deeper in it. And also to also get to ascertain the, the perpetrator um, and if um, there is nothing beyond what you know has been said to us right now that it was just a stabbing incident we, we need to know fully if perhaps you know uh, he may have engaged with other people as i've said the motive will have to be defined fully mm -hmm. so that we know exactly what is it that we're dealing with so yes they're within the same housing unit but um, at this stage what is critical is that a life has to be protected, hence we are doing everything possible to make it a point that um, the, the um, health status of Mr. Walus doesn't deteriorate and our healthcare um, officials will continue uh, to look after him until such time that um, they say to us, no, we can go to bed knowing that uh, he's okay. Is it the first time that he has been attacked in this way in prison? I do not have any other report. Perhaps one may go back and check in, 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 the, in his profile if he was attacked before. Um, but uh, what we can say is that a correctional facilities are closed spaces. You wouldn't want to have um, stabbings or other cases where a life of another person is at risk. 
Hence, in, as a department, we have to ensure that our officials are there, they're able to um, diffuse whatever tension that may, may be there or, or even keep such things from happening without uh, not just responding after because at times it might be too late. Uh, as a department, therefore, it's important that we keep our facilities safe and secure and not just for officials but also for inmates so that perhaps others may even want to harm themselves. So as a department, we, we are deceived by this particular incident. Mr. Ngumalo, Walus has been behind bars for about 28 years now. Quite for ironic. Uh, sorry? I'm saying for a very long time, yes. Yes. So quite ironic then that three days, in fact tonight it would be two days, ahead of his scheduled parole, uh, at least release date, he then faces a stabbing. The department, in terms of what you're looking at, are you seeing the two as being connected at all? In an environment like a correctional facility, there will, some will identify what we may call opportunities mm -hmm. to perhaps act in a particular way uh, for whatever um, reason. Uh, we don't want to speculate, hence it's important that we conduct a thorough investigation uh, because um, even if it was any other inmate who may have been stabbed or assaulted, it would have warranted that we check it thoroughly. It's, um, this one is even much more elevated because it's someone who's been receiving uh, quite a lot of media headlines uh, following the court, court judgment. So the department, um, it's important that um, we zoom much deeper, not just to the stabbing incident, even if there's any other material that you know will assist us you know in the course of our investigation of course this this stabbing again around yanuswa loose comes at a time where there's been incredible outrage to the fact that he's even going to be released on parole in in this country and i suppose that in and of itself is not something that's lost on correctional services officials so do you have reason to believe at this point that mr walus's life is under threat and that he would need some level of protection going forward. In correctional facilities, all inmates are to be protected. We have to make it a point that they are safe. Hence, any incident um, warrants that we really have to check where was the security breach, how did it happen, and if there was a lapse, what form of you know, lapse that may have happened there, and uh, how best to correct such so that we prevent it from happening even in future. And um, this will apply to any other inmate. Uh, um, as a department, therefore, we really have to um, establish the facts, you know, what really happened here, and also check if anything was done um, following our policies and procedures in terms of how inmates are to leave um, their cells, if they are to and the source of the services and how, you know, fair, they are fair, fair enough, Mr. Ngumalo. So, sorry to interject there. Fair enough. The point is that he's now recovering in the Correctional Services Health Facility. Is he receiving extra protection there? Is the Department of Correctional Services viewing this as something that needs additional security? Given what has happened, do you believe that his life is under any more threat than it would have been before the stabbing incident? Okay. How it works in correctional centers is that the moment you have an incident, you ought to deploy um, other officials to assist there. It, that will mean that additional security or officials, and also if there is a need to rope in additional health care officials, you will do that until such time that that particular um, section is, um, is back to a, 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 a normal um, position where it can function, uh, function optimally. So um, uh, uh, hence then as a department, you know, I think we've said that what was key was to stabilize the inmate, but then also um, our security officials will have to make it a point that uh, then that particular unit is stable, but also even other sections within the facility and um, uh, the message should also go across even to other correctional centers so that you avoid what you know, others may look at it as an opportunity to cause a mayhem. So it's, it's very important that 
we study the mood, we will respond to whatever reports that may emerge, but also if there are things which are out of the ordinary, we are able to respond to those. So as a department, we are leaving nothing to chance. Um, if it means we're robbing additional health officials, we do that. Security officials, we do that. So that uh, at no point other inmates may feel that their life is at risk. All right, certainly seems like early hours yet before uh, there's a lot more details regarding uh, the stabbing incident involving Janus Walus and what exactly then this means for the Department of Correctional Services going forward. We'll leave it there with you uh, for tonight. Spokesperson for the Department, Singabako Ngumalo.